My name is Tatlin Penry, I'm a solitary pagan witch, I'm an author and the founder of the Wolf and Howl Press. In my last little chat, I touched upon advanced witchcraft, what it is and why I don't think it really exists. But let's have a little chat about that now. Because you will find people who will fervently insist, yes, it does exist. Um, I think what they're actually talking about is advanced spellcraft. Um, and even that, you see, I take exception to because if you have the right level and intensity of will and intention, which I dealt with in another video here, um, if you have those right, well then your spell has got a much better chance of success. If you don't get them right, it really doesn't matter what colour candles you use, what type of incense you use, or what happens to be the moon's phase when you do it. It doesn't matter because you haven't got the intention right. You see, <coughs> pardon me, when you sit down and think about what you're going to do, you are immediately making a start on your spell. You are immediately bringing it into being. You are sort of putting that thought out into the cosmos, if you like. This is what I think I would like to happen. Now, we do that whether or not we're witches. Everybody does that to some extent. You know, they think they would like, oh, I don't know, they would like to go out on Friday night. They would like to have a good time. They would like to meet up with the family. Something like that. Anything. You are immediately putting this thought out there. Um, you have to work with that thought. You know, if you want to go out on Friday night, well, you better, you know, make arrangements sort it out, organise yourself. If you don't organise yourself, then it's not going to happen. Or if it is, it's going to be a bit haphazard. So in the same way with, with magic, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to organise ourselves. We're trying to say, OK, this is what we would like to have happen. How can we go about it? When I say it's all about intention and will, yes, it is. Most of your magic happens up here. It really does. But we can and we should do things to try and help it along. Uh, so, you know, if, you're, if you want to get a new job or change your job or what have you, well, you do have to write a CV that is reasonably good and you do have to actually send it out to people. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's common sense. That's not advanced spellcraft. If you don't send your CV out, it's unlikely you're going to get the job you want. Um, so, yes, you do have to start uh, concentrating, focusing on what it is you really want to have happen and trying to bring that into being magically and practically. The more you can do, the more the two will work together. So, yes, that's advanced witchcraft, is it? I don't know. I mean, to me, advanced witchcraft is what we're doing here. We are integrating it in our lives. It's not advanced if we don't actually pull it into our lives. To me, that's what makes it advanced, that we're actually living it. We're not just sitting around talking about it. We're not just sitting there saying, I'm going to be a witch next weekend when I can afford to buy a wand. No, you don't need one. Use your hands. Use your breath. Use whatever. Use a kitchen spoon or something. It doesn't matter. This is what it's about. <coughs> so, I think um, people rather miss the boat and they leave, uh, those who are just starting out, they, they put them into an, an awkward position where they are convinced they are missing out on something. You know, don't you think when somebody tells you something that there could be something more to what they're saying, there are layers of meaning. And just the same in these videos, there are layers of meaning. There's a lot more meaning you can pull out if you want. I read um, I read a review of one of my books. I think it was not magic. And someone said, oh, yes, very interesting. But I wish you'd left the personal stuff out of it and uh, concentrated on the facts, you know. And I think you've missed the point. If I put something personal in a book, then there's a very good reason for it. It is teaching you a point. It's not put there to entertain you. I'm very careful about that. I'm a very private person in many ways, although I'm sitting here in front of the camera and chatting away to you. Uh, I am a private person. I don't want to go uh, 
inviting people into my life wholesale. It doesn't work like that. So if I tell you something, and it's some personal anecdote or something, it's actually part of the lesson. It's actually a part of the story. Uh, the Romans used to do this a lot. They called them exemplars, and they, they believed that if you told enough stories, say, about a brave citizen, then everyone else would go off and be a brave citizen. That's the idea. You weren't just being told a little tale. You were being told something that was actually intended to instruct you. So this is important. This is a part of what advanced witchcraft is. Learning to live it. Learning to make it everyday part of your life. And when you do that, take it from me. When you do that, a couple of things will happen. The first thing is, as you go seeking that way of life, that way of life will come seeking you. It doesn't matter if you want to be a druid or you, you want to be a witch or a Wiccan or you want to do my particular path, which I called Seeking the Green. It doesn't matter what actual name you give it. Whatever it is that you are seeking, it's going to come seeking you. As I thought. And I've totally forgotten what the second one was going to be, so never mind. We'll, we'll get that one of these days when my brain comes back to normal. Um, so, yes. You, oh, I know what it was. The other thing was that the more you live the path, the craft, uh, the less you actually have to cast spells. And that's because it, it has seeped into your bones, if you like. It's become a part of you. It's a bit like a stain on a, on a favourite white shirt. It doesn't matter how hard you try to get it out, certain stains won't come out. And that's exactly what happens to you. It, it stains you, it marks you, it, it claims you for its own. That's quite wonderful, actually, when you think of it. So, I'll leave you with those thoughts. I'm sorry for losing my plot in the middle of it, but there we go. Having a senior moment there. Anyway, thank you ever so much for listening to me. Goodbye.